Today on The Dish, it's First Friday. John Holden will be joining Anna Christina on set. Don't miss their table talk on Back to School. A little taste testing is also happening in celebration of National Peach Month. Plus, find out what's going on around town. Then, later, our Community Connection Champion is providing encouragement for women who have children with disabilities. It's all happening right here on The Dish with your host, Anna Christina. Hey everyone, welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thanks so much for tuning in and you picked a good day. It's First Friday, so you know what that means. It's me, Holden. He's so excited to be here. <laughs> I am, of course I am. First Friday, yeah. you know, I always get a great opportunity to come up here and hang out with you and That's talk to the right. people. It's and always it's a great day. August, so you know what that means. Kids are getting ready to get back to school. Yep. I'm sure they're so excited about that. Parents are excited. Parents are really excited. Just <laughs> tossing it out. That's right. I mean, you would know because you have three girls. That's right. In a all in college at the same time. Yep. So it's a different way, though. I have to dole out money. But I do remember those early years. Yeah. When they needed a book bag, paper, right. another book bag, more paper, another a folder on top of a semester. folder in the in the three ring binder folder, which yeah, made no sense. Yeah, the to cool me. ones, the five star. Or what were they called? I don't know. Yeah, but they're like yay big, and you can't put them in your book bag. It made <laughs> it don't fit. Yeah, and it made no you need sense. You take a luggage. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy <laughs> what they made the kids take. Well, listen. Before we talk more about school, I don't know if you know this, but August is National Peach Month. Ooh. Hence why we have all this beautiful stuff on our table. Peaches. Yummy. Do you like peaches? Love peaches. Do you really? That's right. I'm living right here in the AUG, right I mean, next door to South Carolina. Right. We can't not talk about yeah. National Peach Month. Yeah. We live in Georgia. Yeah. Peaches are a part of the way of life right here in GA. That's right. Gotta have a peach in everything. You know what? I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. I hated it. peaches for the longest time. No. I hated them. I just don't know why. <laughs> why like, you... I could almost eat anything. Why peaches? But peaches, I don't know if it was because at school, mm -hmm. when they would serve them, mm -hmm. they were like really soggy and like real sugary. Oh, oh, that so, was the lunchroom thing. Right. That was just how and you so got I it just, there. I gotcha. mm, no, couldn't do it. Well, and it wasn't until I moved to Georgia mm -hmm. that Ryan, um, brought over some peaches from Yant's Farm. That's actually in South Carolina, I mm -hmm. believe. And uh, he's like, just try them. You're not going to be disappointed. I, I promise you. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. Well, I was pregnant. So at that point, I'm willing to try everything and anything, right? I must have eaten like five in a row. They were so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I've been missing out all my life. Well, that's the difference though. Before, I mean, you were, what? I mean, you were in Texas. I was in Texas and, before. And your peaches, so. you were eating your peaches in Texas, right? Right, right. So that says hey. a lot. Love you, Texas, but. <laughs> Everything's better, bigger and better in Texas except the peaches. That's right, except for the peaches. <laughs> well, and you know what? Fun fact mm -hmm. is that um, South Carolina actually produces more peaches than Georgia. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said anything, right? It's okay. Well, okay, so let's try this. This oh. actually, Reva brought in some yummy, yummy, great, I don't even know, great, okay. yummy stuff for okay. us to try. Hang on, can we eat this so, right now? Yeah, you can try that. That's peach cobbler from Ghoul's Bees. Tell me what you think. Okay. Ooh, and then, um, there's peaches, of course, because mm -hmm. we have to have them. I need to try this. Mm-hmm. Mm, so good. still warm. Mm. It's warm? Mm-hmm. Is that good or what? Oh, that's very good. Ooh. We can work with this. Oh, yeah. We can definitely work okay. with that. Okay. And then, of course. There's more? Miss Reba. She's bringing in the peach ice cream. Really? Have you ever had it? Today, I will. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. don't double dip. Only I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It fell. Okay. That's what I get. Listen. I'm say. Tell me what you think. Okay. Okay, you first because that way we're not... Chewing at the same time. Don't they say that on TV? Mm -hmm. Don't be, it's don't be good. eating on TV. Girl, I'm gonna eat when you talk. Go <laughs> <All right. laughs> mm. What do you think? Mm. Ooh, right. that's yummy. One more. Okay, just listen. To make sure. You're just gonna keep that. <laughs> okay, Let's go out and enjoy some peachy yes. goodness Please because do. it is National Peach Month. So. You deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to let that melt right there. <laughs> All right. Help. So back to school really quick. Do you okay. have any tips for kids that are going back to school? Uh, yes. The most important tip, this is for mommies and daddies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Go ahead, let them wear their raggedy clothes the first week. Second week, then let them wear their new clothes. Really? That's right. It was always the opposite. You want to wear your good clothes at the beginning. Mm -mm. No? Why is that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
So that way when save, everybody's done wearing their good clothes, Save them for the them. next week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> save them for the next week. That's all. Well, listen, I, um, we got this from the World Wide Web. I'm mm -hmm. saying that. Enjoy the school shopping, though. Take your kids. Make it fun. Give them choices. That way they feel that they're a part of it and that they're a part of their own style. And, of course, I know that there's always rules when it comes to what you can and can't wear. Mm -hmm. So you have to be... Um, Yes. Be cautious of that. You too. know, school, listen, there's a lot of pressure. It's, but at the end of the day, it's all about the education. Remember that. Try your right. best to get ahead of it. Look at you, you know, growing be a part up, of Holden, try right my here best on the dish. Listen, especially if you're going into <laughs> high school, make sure that you get your children involved with a move on when ready program. It will save you money yeah, is in that the right? future. Yep, that's right. Well, I've never, I don't think I've heard of yeah. it. Yeah, it's a, uh, listen, it's a, it's a I've, you know, I'm saying this from a personal place, only right. because I had the opportunity to lease. Two of my daughters were able to go mm -hmm. through the program, okay. and it was just amazing as far as what they were able to learn, and they were also able right. to get college credit. Well, and you take advantage of those those different opportunities because you can get ahead, but mm -hmm. also the the scholarships and things, applying for those ahead of the ahead of time so that your kids are set with a couple extra bucks because yeah. it's going to be hard paying for all of that uh, once they get into college. Like three three. Of them at the same time. It's in all college. good. Oh my they goodness. Sh they share a we'll pair of shoes. We'll be saying prayers we, for you, right? We rotate them. <laughs> all right, guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to hit on our Community Connection events and continue eating this while you're away. We'll be right back. Do you know someone or something you'd like to see featured on The Dish? Go to thedishon6.com to submit your information by clicking on the Community Connection button. Also, tune in every Friday at 1230 for The Dish on All Things Local on WJBF News Channel. Everyone, welcome back to the dish. I'm on, and that's Holden, and he's still eating. I mean, are you surprised? <laughs> no. It is so good, mm. though, right? Shout out to Goldsby's because that's right. That is an amazing peach cobbler that you guys have, and the peach ice cream and peaches were fabulous. Also. Very good, very good. So no love complaints. peaches now, none whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Well. It is time for Community Connection events, so mm. we want to let you know what's going on in the community, so I'll kick things off. Okay. There's Special Needs Day. That's happening Tuesday, August 7th, 2018. Of course, what other year would it be, right? That's right. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> um, at the Imagination Station, Augusta, and Neighborhood Children's Museum. It's happening from 9.30 to 12, and this is every first Tuesday of the month. This is dedicated to children with special needs. So for more information, you can visit www.imagineaugusta.org. What else do you have going on? Also, listen, if you love the laugh, it's all about the Laugh Fest, 2018. It's not 17. 2018. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, August the 11th, That's right. from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. at the Bell Auditorium, Laugh Fest 2018, featuring Don C. Curry, Joe Turry, Damon Williams, and Sherman Golden. Uh, you need more information about that? Go to thebellauditorium.com. Didn't your mom ever tell you to not... Talk with your mouth full. I know, but I'm on TV. <laughs> this, is the, this is the time when I can All do it. All right. Next up, we have my Unreal Wedding Expo. Guys, it's going to be unreal. unreal. August 26th. This is Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Columbia County Exhibition Center. Feel the romance, inspiration from real life mm. inspiration boards, interaction with wedding industry professionals. For tickets and more information, you can go to myrealwedding.com. It's $10 for advanced tickets or $12 at the door. Oh, and for all, all the ladies out there, we've got something for you. It's called Personality Night with, uh, with comedian Anita Ruffo. And that's a play on words. It's a personality. Pers oh, personality. My right, bad. You Sorry about it. Um, <laughs> it'll be Friday, August the 24th at Warm Baptist Church at 730, hosted by Safe Homes, Domestic Violence Center, and 88.3 WAFJ. So ladies come out, join us, have a great time. They're gonna have a purse raffle. They're gonna have a lot of things in that purse. They're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be filled with some goodies. Anna, Anna, no, not a car. No, no, car, no, not, no cars, sorry. No, 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 no cars <laughs> hey, in the purses. but Holden might be raffling one off. Maybe, um, <laughs> but listen, coffee, desserts will be there. Also, um, let's for see. For more information? Yeah, for more information, go to uh, evenbright.com. Eventbrite. Not bad again. He can't read now because Sorry. he's so peachy. That's right. And the water <laughs> is just so good right now. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Hey, also, tomorrow there is a back-to-school family fun day on the farm. This is, again, tomorrow, Friday. No, wait. wait I wait, said wait. Friday. 
But this is August 4th. Yes, the 4th. <laughs> It's so the Saturday, mm -hmm. guys, listen, okay, so Saturday, August 4th at Impact Farms, home of Athlete and 4 Fitness. They are located off of 231 South Old Bel Air Road in Grovetown. This is going on from 10 to 2. There's going to be food vendors, a big water slide, games and training and more. So don't miss that. It's a free event. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's time to pick our birthday winner. Oh, okay. Happy birthday to who? You. Find out if it's you. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Ouch. Who is it? Don't be knocking stuff down. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I can get down on the mix, you know. Oh, you got it? Yep. Listen. Reva, what? He's mixing Hang them on. up. 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Bam. All right, who do we got? Jennifer, Jennifer Ramirez. Ramirez. And she's, she's turning 31. 31. All right. That's, that's exciting. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so what, what's wrong with turning 31? Nothing. Honestly, Nothing. 31 is awesome. It's just yeah, it's it such is. a long time ago. Listen, it? happy birthday to you. Jennifer will be contacting you so you can come pick up your dish swag bag. And if you have a birthday coming up, be sure to go to the dishon6.com to sign up. All right, guys, don't go anywhere when we come back. We are going to step out on the street, or actually, we aren't, mm -hmm. but Royal Reva is. She's going to be talking to the people of the CSRA. We'll be right back. Celebrating a birthday this month? Let us know by submitting on the dishon6.com. All right, guys, welcome back to The Dish. I'm Anna. And I'm Holden. We're having a lot of fun today. This is the best time. <laughs> Listen, we were just talking about community connection events, back to school, so many fun things still happening, even though kids are going back to school. But yeah. I wanted to um, round things off with a couple tips. Mm -hmm. What are your tips oh, for school? That uh, parents take this time when they take their children to school, mm -hmm. definitely get involved. Okay. Definitely get involved. Yeah, that's right. Take advantage of the things that are out there, like Infinite Campus. This. Yeah, you were telling me about that. That's really neat. Yeah, it's a great program where basically parents are able to log on, mm -hmm. look at your children's progress from beginning to end. So honestly, so when they show up with those report cards, you're not surprised. You're not surprised at mm -hmm. all. And this is a good way to hold your kids accountable. Now, I loved school. I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed school. I never really had to have somebody... Look you know, up on you. yeah, look up, oh, well, you, know, you know, be on my back about anything. I loved it. I was such a nerd. <laughs> For the rest of us, we could have used some infinite campus back in the day. Right. Yeah, definitely. But, but I, that is a cool tool for, yeah. for parents to have and keep yep. track of their kids. And like you said, I think more than anything, those surprises are never good. No. Yeah. And like I said, you know, it always helps the children out also. Right. So what we're going to do, you know, we used to go out on the street all the time, holding down mm -hmm. the street, mm -hmm. right, and talk to people of the CSRA, and so we're actually sending Reva, our Reva. producer, one of our producers out on the street to talk to the community and see what's up, see if they're excited about going back to school. Yeah. Take a look. Hi, Anna and Holden. It's me, Reva, out here on the streets. So, Beth, what is your least favorite thing about back to school season? The school supply shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everybody's least favorite, right? Yes, it's hard to get everything on the list. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about back to school season? Um. The best thing about back to school is uh, the kids getting out of my house, eating up all my groceries, and uh, my grocery bill going down, and um, just, um, you know, basically getting out the house. Yes. I'm here with Kaylee and Mom. So, Kaylee, what is your favorite thing about back to school? Um, I like picking out all my school supplies, and I like decorating them, too. Really? So, Mom, you let her create anything she wants with her back to school products? I try to, yes. <laughs> Thank you to all the families that I have interviewed today and definitely came out and gave us great answers. Also, I would like to wish everybody a great back to school season and good luck on those back to school shopping. Back to you, Anna and Holden. Reba, thank you so much for going out on the street and talking to everybody in the community. That's He's right. so laughing. I'm You're just, just having a fun time today. Listen, you did such a great job. <laughs> That's right. So exciting to hear from the people, see what they're excited about yeah. when it comes to back to school. All right, guys, don't go anywhere when we come back. Coming up next is a Community Connection champion who's on a mission to provide hope and encouragement for parents with children with disabilities. We'll be right back. <laughs> 